There are many mixed views and emotions when it comes to whether it's okay to ask somebody why they are not wearing a face mask and whether they have an exemption and for proof of that exemption. Now, as I've explained in other videos, the regulations require that face masks are worn in certain areas unless there is a reasonable excuse, otherwise referred to as an exemption. Now, there are many reasons why someone may feel that they are not able to wear a face mask, and it's not limited to disability and breathing difficulties and things like this. There are many other conditions and situations, such as autism or any other kind of sensory difficulty or sensitivity that someone might have that would make it difficult or simply unbearable to wear a face mask. But equally, some situations where someone might have been subjected to some severe abuse or violence where their mouth or nose had been covered and they might have been choked or smothered as part of that and therefore they simply cannot bear to wear anything on their face or their mouth whatsoever. Because of course this might trigger flashbacks and anxiety and panic and things like this and it is something that is almost certainly not going to be comfortable to talk about especially out in public. If you find yourself in that position there are various charities that have set up guidance documents that you can read and get assistance in how to deal with these situations and depending on how someone is challenged it may amount to discrimination depending on the circumstances. But the starting point is this, there is no legal requirement for someone who has an exemption to provide proof of that exemption. Neither is there a requirement to wear any kind of exemption card or lanyard, which many people simply wouldn't want to wear. Verbal confirmation that there is an exemption should be sufficient, and there are only certain people that can challenge or ask about this exemption at all. This includes certain staff and police. But even then, it should be done in a certain way so that it's non-discriminatory in nature and that it's in line with the Equality Act of 2010, which prohibits unfair and unreasonable and unfavorable treatment which arises out of a protected characteristic such as a disability. Even in the situation where someone such as an officer may have the power to enforce the regulations for face coverings, if a person is challenged inappropriately for the lack of a face covering, this may amount to discrimination. For example, if it were abusive or demanding proof of some kind of exemption, or imposing other kind of requirements on this person, such as various confirmations beyond a verbal confirmation, such as insisting that the person wear an exemption card and things like this, this might again amount to discrimination. Forcing someone to state what their disability is in a public setting is going to be unfavorable, and certainly phrases such as you don't look disabled or various other inflammatory phrases like this are clearly going to be beyond what is acceptable. As for interactions between members of the public, well, the Equality Act does not apply between private citizens, but in the event of a heated exchange between two private people, it could, on repeated challenges, amount to harassment or amount to other criminal offences if that challenge amounts to abuse of the other person. So if you firmly support the wearing of face coverings but you see someone who is not wearing one, please be mindful that there are lots of reasons that you will not be able to see that may give them a very valid reason for not wearing a mask. So I hope that is assistance to somebody. Please share it with someone that you think might find it useful and as always thank you for watching.